and I have another little depth diary to make uh, with another small step towards <coughs> glory. And uh, what has been done at this time is uh, the systems of management menus. In actuality, Unreal Engine provides certain menu systems in a widget blueprints, and this is my main menu widget blueprint. I will also have a second menu in settings menu. While uh, saving and uh, quitting the game will be handled uh, without special menus, with just prompts. Uh, so, uh, what is the problem? Technically, Unreal Engine provides you with internal navigation with these blocks, but it actually works basically like uh, default Windows uh, tab uh, selection. Yes, uh, tab order. And it's not very comf comf comfortable or obvious to use, so I am completely removing it. And to uh, discard this system, you just uh, disable focus. So you take down the focusable pin from the button, and therefore the button no longer executes as focusable. And instead I have this system which highlights buttons and allows to select the needed one. So I can press new game and I'm I am in game. Or I can use... I need to focus the window anyway. Yes, and I can now swap along the buttons and I can just press enter and I am inside of the game also. And same for all the other buttons. And this requires certain uh, dark magic which is not actually hard but it is a bit counterintuitive and uh, uh, it's a bit as you say s backwards to implement. So what are we doing? For the main menu we add menu override and create another game mode, main menu mode. And instead of our main uh, main uh, pawn, which is controlled by the engine, we implement another pawn, I called it uh, MMC, short for main menu character. It's actually a pawn, not a character, because we do not need any movement. And MMC handles uh, significant menu management. For the uh, menu, we also implement a separate mapping context. And this context uh, contains just a few elements. Uh, here it is, menu mappings. It contains... Uh, I'll close them down. Menu up, menu down, and menu use. It's all that will be prob probably needed. Uh, I'd add additional controls for menu sliders. Uh, in settings, but I, I will see whether I will have time to do uh, this stuff. Uh, in any case, menu up, menu down, and menu use. Uh, when we use menu up, we add menu step. Oh, I'm sorry, menu down, we add menu step. When use menu up, we uh, sub subtract menu step, and we clamp them at zero and menu steps value, which is defined from which level we are at. Currently we have only main menu level, there will also be settings level with small preview scene to allow to set up graphics visually. Uh, and we set up that menu has four menu steps, so steps from 0 to 3. And default menu step to start is 0. Now, uh, when we press our input buttons, we switch menu steps. But main menu is a separate object, it's a widget. And therefore it will absolutely not care about what are we actually doing in our uh, character. So we need to link the two. So on event construct we get our game instance and we get our pawn, which is actually the important part. Uh, when we get our pawn, we get it as a uh, variable. We add our buttons to an array. We'll see why later. And we set up on click events. Uh, in Unreal 5.3 they change it a bit. Now uh, events are set here. Previously they were set uh, down here. No, they are in now when I added those. Previously they were not here. We'll know. So they appear when you add at least one. Okay. Uh, now we set up this event 
And for each click event, we also add a custom event that will be called separately. So we I'll either call click event when we just physically click the button in the menu, or we call this custom event, which does the same thing when, when we call it from our uh, separate keyboard or gamepad input. Now, on event tick, what are we doing? We get our menu step from our object and record it inside our menu object itself in our widget. Now, we do two functions. One highlights menu steps, another one executes menu steps. The highlighter gets array and the array is arranged in the same order the buttons are actually arranged. So we just see whether a button corresponds to menu step and either paint it slightly blue or we paint it white in default color. Uh, of course, color can be any and we actually can apply a set of different effects. I, th I think this one will be more than enough. We just highlight menu text and it works fine, I think. Uh, and also to correspond these two uh, components, we uh, in parallel are uh, creating reverse feedback. So when we execute our on Howard event for each button, we prescribe menu step for our object. So now if we move the mouse over our menu, yes, we highlight the buttons as well and it is done on object. So if we will click enter, enter will be executed. Uh, And uh, this is basically it. Uh, this is the cycle of how uh, the menu system operates. And uh, this is the only more or less stable way of implementing uh, both mouse and uh, keyboard slash gamepad menus uh, operated for a widget system. You can of course always program uh, your menu from scratch via hood system, but it's a bit tougher and it will probably require you diving into C++ because writing stuff like that uh, purely in blueprints will create uh, horrifying visions of billions of nodes and it will be unreadable. And uh, the last uh, thing that needs pointing out is uh, that we are using a uh, specific input mode uh, for the entire system to work. It's, uh, where did it have it? Uh, yeah, here it is. Uh, a set input mode to game and UI for the controller, which allows us to read both inputs from keyboard or gamepad and from mouse on uh, the widget. Uh, in uh, the game itself, we are of course using input mode game only. And this is more or less all for this uh, dev diary update.